Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Scrutiny. Um, so today I will show you how to boot your um, Raspberry Pi 4 uh, off of a USB drive or an SSD drive, whatever you guys have. Um, so this is uh, my third video on the topic, uh, but this time it's a little bit different. So now uh, USB boot is officially supported by Raspberry Pi. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do it, but um, you need to update your firmware first. Um, so let's just walk through this. Okay guys, so what I have here is the is a fresh install of uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, this is a 32-bit version. Um, so, okay, first uh, let's open the command prompt and uh, we're gonna get the latest update. So we're gonna type in sudo apt update. So it's gonna fetch all the updates. Um, and here we go. Now type in sudo apt full dash upgrade. And by the way, all of these commands are in the description below as well. Hit uh, Y to continue. All right, I'm gonna speed this part up a little bit. Um, we don't need to wait. Okay, now that this part is completed, uh, let's type in our next uh, command. Uh, so type in sudo rpi dash update. Hit Y. Okay, so let's uh, reboot. And we're back. Uh, so let's uh, open the command prompt again. Now we're going to type the following. sudo rpi-ee-prom-update space um, dash D space dash A. Okay, let's see. So looks like we are up to date. We have uh, uh, September 3rd version. Okay, so now let's launch the uh, Raspberry config uh, sudo raspy dash config. Okay, and uh, what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to boot options. That's number three, uh, boot ROM version, and then uh, go to the option B5, uh, latest, let's use the, uh, select latest. Uh, latest version selected, reset to defaults, hit no, um, okay. Now go, let's go to select uh, boot options again. And we're going to go to boot order and we're going to select uh, USB boot. Now we can go hit finish and we're going to reboot again. Okay, and we're back. So let's open the command prompt again. Um, I wanna look at the bootloader config to make sure that we have uh, uh, USB as the primary boot device. So type in vcgen cmd and then uh, space uh, boot loader underscore config. Yep, uh, you can see uh, as the last, uh, the, take a look at the last line. So it says boot underscore order. Um, so F41, uh, this is hex, uh, hex value, but this is, uh, that means that we're gonna be booting from the USB. 
um, if it had the zero in there, so that would mean uh, we would be booting from the uh, micro SD card. So now let's copy our micro SD card uh, to the M.2 SSD. Um, so this is what I have. This is uh, uh, M.2 SSD in uh, USB 3 enclosure. So I'm gonna plug into uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, you wanna make sure that you plug it into the uh, USB 3 uh, port, not USB 2. Okay, so what we need to do now is uh, copy the micro SD card uh, to the SSD. Um, so exit out of your command prompt um, and then go to um, accessories and SD card copier. Select copy from device, that's your uh, micro SD card, uh, copy to device, your uh, SSD or a USB flash drive and then hit start hit yes and here we go so this may take up to uh, 10 minutes uh, depending on how fast your drive is uh, so I'm just gonna speed this part up for you okay so this step is done. Uh, it says copy complete, hit OK. Um, close this out. So what we wanna do is uh, we wanna shut down uh, Raspberry Pi and uh, take out the micro SD card and uh, see if it works. So let's uh, shut it down. Here we go. And here you go, guys. Uh, we are running off of SSD. Um, I took out the micro SD card. Um, that's pretty much it. As you see, this works. Okay, hopefully I was able to help you. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so I hope you were able to boot from your uh, SSD or a USB flash drive. Um, let me know what you're using your Raspberry Pi for in the comments below. And um, as always, thank you for watching. Bye.